Salut à tous, c'est Trail pour la chaîne Imaginaire, on se retrouve pour une nouvelle vidéo sur The Council, le jeu épisodique de Big Bad Wolf. Donc on va continuer notre enquête. On prend l'ouvrir, l'ouvrage, ça va nous donner des points de compétences supplémentaires, je pense. Ok. Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres choses à faire dans Oula. Je pense pas. Ah. Pas de Malte. Percevez temporairement les immunités et vulnérabilités affectant des choix de dialogue lors des conversations. Vous ne pouvez pas emporter plus de 5. Consommez avec 3. rejoindre les autres invités de l'ordre de Mortimer. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richer. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Bon, allons-y, les pieds, deux pieds dans le plat. Elle a disparu. Lord Mortimer asked me to come as quickly as possible to find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. Oui, he can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. 
Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat, very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. On va rester écouter Washington. What Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Um. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Moi, je peux pas sélectionner politique, affaire occulte. Pas trop ce que c'est que l'ordre doré finalement. When she came to the US, did you exchange ideas about the Golden Order? Exactly. What's more, she was essential in helping set up the American branch of the Order. I would never have become its leader without her help. We are a new country. And to achieve our democratic ideals, we need to count on discreet powers such as our organization. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet.
but I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniac. Mais je revu un, un fantôme quand But on avait passé la file. Il does have some outstanding Il a une drôle de tête. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Alors là, c'est la chambre d'Emily. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Ils ont le tour des chambres. Monsieur Napoléon Bonaparte. Napoléon Bonaparte Ok. Effectivement du beau monde ici, Washington, Bonaparte. Monsieur Jacques Perru. D'accord, j'adore le l'accent Jacques Perrou. Monsieur Jacques Perrou. Bon, c'est le gros défaut du jeu, hein, c'est la caméra. Ah, un journal là. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Une page d'encyclopédie. Ok. Elixir d'or. Il permet de retirer ses altérations négatives. Un guide de bien séance. Okay, la caméra c'est vraiment le truc... Euh, c'est le gros défaut du jeu. Le reste pour l'instant c'est un... Euh, en foot. Croix de mal, je sais plus à quoi ça sert déjà. Il ah, y a un escalier là-bas. Pas censé monter apparemment. Ok, 
fermé. Monsieur Johann von Wollner. Johann von Wollner. Okay. Okay, okay. Pièce de collection. Pas un truc là Non, ça a un reflet lumineux. Ah, cette caméra, c'est. C'est terrible. Non, je suis à fond en termes de sensibilité. Bon, pas grave, je pense pas que ça soit les phases les plus importantes du jeu. <rire> C'est grand et c'est cossu. On peut pas dire l'inverse. Il y a un truc sur la table. Un reflet. On va y aller. Ah, S'il y a un truc à corriger pour l'épisode 2, c'est effectivement cette caméra. Alors on est George Washington. George Washington, ok. Ah, est-ce que je peux aller voir un George Washington Possible ça Non. Je peux pas. Je peux pas aller voir Emily non plus. Gelée royale, je sais pas combien on est tiens. Deux gelées royales, croix de, mat croix de malte, on en a deux, on n'a pas d'eau de mélisse. Okay. Monseigneur, his eminence gardez un piagi. <coughs> That's me. Et ça c'est moi. C'est ma chambre. Duke Manuel Godoy. Manuel Godoy. C'est pas le mec euh, à, quel, à qui ma, ma mère écrivait. Je crois. Ok, on a fait le tour. Allons dans notre chambre. C'est la lettre que nous a remis le cardinal Piaggi. Je pense qu'il n'y a que des noms de, de, de prêtres à évacuer des révolutionnaires, donc on va laisser la lettre fermée. Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to mother. Wow. Nice room. Ouais. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Plutôt... Tout cool. Ils ont les moyens. Je peux rien y faire, ok. Eau de milice. Utilisation de compétences gratuite. On avait 4. Et comme la water. Ok, jolie vue. Je pense que c'est pour rentrer dans la chambre.
pièce de collection. Encore une pièce de collection. Bon, je peux rien faire d'autre. Et... D'accord, donc on a fini un, un des... des épisodes du chapitre, on va dire. Euh, au large des côtes anglaises. Donc on est bien. Donc on aura pu rejoindre Sir Holmes dans le petit salon, c'est parce qu'on a fait, on a le cho fait le choix de rester avec Washington et j'aurais pu faire une rencontre inattendue. Je sais pas ce que c'est. Je l'ai pas fait, je sais pas où il fallait aller pour la faire. Ok, j'ai posé des questions chez ma mère, ok. On n'a rien raté. Donc là, on gagne des points d'XP qui vont nous permettre de débloquer des compétences. En fonction des objets trouvés, les vulnérabilités exploitées, des nouveaux personnages rencontrés, des lieux découverts. Ok. Donc on a 4 points dispo. Alors. Je vais aller débloquer subterfuge. Enfin, subterfuge et science parce que je sais que ça peut être pas mal utile. Euh... C'est débloqué subterfuge. Euh... On va monter vigilance. Voilà. Ok, cette page vous permet de choisir vos lectures au cours de l'histoire. Chaque livre que vous lisez vous confiera un point de compétence. Des points de compétence en fin de quête. Donc soit un point en science, soit un point en psychologie, conviction, étiquette. Ne peut pas être équipé, rassemblé toutes les pages du manuscrit. Donc je ne sais pas encore. Euh... On va se débloquer psychologie. Ok. On a encore une vision. Et qui c'est Holmes avec Mortimer, c'est ça Très inspiré. Euh, Your okay. turn. The servants are not very efficient. Durichet can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted, given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient of not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. What a pity to lose a night at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. Ah, It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend.
A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Bon, j'aurais bien aimé euh, fouiller la, la pièce avant d'aller me coucher. Le jeu ne nous a pas donné cette possibilité. Bon, on va aller ouvrir à, à Washington quand même. Assez vite no. ou pas What's her name again? Elizabeth Adams. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the vice president, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. On va aider Washington. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. My son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe a Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug. A Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Ah, ça peut pas être Napoléon, il est avec l'autre. Bon, allons-y. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Who do you think you are? Forget il existe plusieurs chemins pour atteindre votre objectif. Il peut être bon de réfléchir avant de vous engager sur la première que vous trouvez. Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you, stay out of it. This is none of your business. 
I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell's going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to your room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh, suffer. Damn it. What should I do? Uh, you filthy whore! I apologize. Have mercy. Please have mercy. Uh, no! Uh, I apologize. No, no, no. Mercy, have mercy. No, no, no. Bon, pour l'instant, il fait pas trop chaud. Chose pas grave. I'll teach you a little respect. No. Huh? No. Uh -huh. Dumbass, are you deaf? She said she was sorry. Call me that again. Leave her alone. Are you looking for a slap, Sonny? Allons-y. Washington must have finished by now. Well, did you get time to search the room? Yes, I found out many things. Good. Did Elizabeth give you any trouble? Elizabeth? No. Well, you could have mentioned she was with a raving maniac, huh? What do you mean? She was with a Frenchman. He was about to beat her when I arrived. What the devil are you talking about? I thought he was going to kill the poor girl. Did you intervene? I did what was necessary to give you enough time to search her room. Good work, my friend. I knew that I could count on you. So tell me, did you find any information? Oh, yes. What I found is likely to upset you. What do you mean by that? Elizabeth is indeed the daughter of John Adams. Why pass her off as dead? I found her medical file. It appears that for many years, your mother was her personal doctor. From what I read, she behaved more like a butcher than a doctor. What are you talking about? I'm not a child. What's going on here? John believed that his daughter was possessed. He appealed to your mother to save her, but the treatment she inflicted on the poor child... My God. Look, stop beating around the bush. What exactly did she do to her? Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? Ah. Ma mère serait capable de torturer un enfant. Bah, de plus, plus que j'ai vu, elle a quand même une tête de vieille sorcière. Bon, on va quand même. Ma mère ne ferait jamais quelque chose comme ça. Mais elle l'a fait. Et avec la blessure de l'ordre. Non, non, elle ne ferait pas ça. Prouve-le. Montre-moi ce file. Je l'ai laissé dans sa chambre, pour ne pas arrêter la suspicion. Ma mère n'est pas un monstre. Je ne doute pas que ta mère a dit bien. But the techniques described in the file, it, it is pure That's going to torture. Please, I need some time alone. I have seen some horrors in my time. But if what is written in these damned documents is true, be brave, my boy. Oh, he's quite bien arrangé, là. Elisabeth, là, qu'on a vu. Oui. Elle est quand même sacrément bien arrangée. Retournez vous coucher. Retournez discuter avec elle. Non.
That's not the right way. Jacques Perru. Pas y aller. Pas aller chez Napoléon non plus. Je peux moi-même aller chercher chez Elisabeth. Pas. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. What are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? It could have been worse. Let's say that Miss Adams will remember it for a couple of days. What? Did you not intervene? Of course not. What did you want me to do? That thug could have snapped me in half in two seconds. So, you prefer to let that fragile young lady take a beating rather than risk getting slapped around a bit yourself? Mr. Derice, your mother would not have been proud of you. Listen, next time it happens, join me instead of hiding behind the door. If you're gonna talk big, back it up. You should be ashamed. I will pray for your soul, my son. Bon, moi qui reste évasif, je raconte des conneries quand même. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name. Moi, j'ai toujours la lettre. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Louise. Now, give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. You're straying from your objective. Bon, ok. On va partir n'importe où. Allons nous coucher ou fouiller l'appartement. Si c'est possible. I'm exhausted. Bon, on va directement dormir apparemment. Non, je cherche ma room demain. Mother stayed here right before me. Ok, on va fouiller la chambre demain matin. Super. And Mortimer had better show up. Baleine nocturne. J'ai laissé se faire battre, quand même pas récupéré. Je n'ai pas récupéré le talisman de Lydia Adams. J'avais pas vu que je pouvais faire ça. J'aurais pu découvrir plus sur les hommes de ma vision. Ah ben, J'ai fait un choix. J'aurais pu en apprendre plus sur mes plans. Les plans me concernant. J'aurais pu faire une singulière rencontre. Ok. Bon, on va s'arrêter là pour cette... Euh... Euh, vidéo, euh, j'ai peut-être... Ah, attendez, je devrais pouvoir attribuer les points de compétence. Voilà. Donc comme ça, on va s'arrêter là. Juste après l'attribution des points de compétence. J'ai pas gagné grand-chose, là. Euh... On va essayer de débloquer science. Euh, j'ai plus qu'un point. Et d'aller débloquer euh, vigilance. Non, c'est quoi ça Étiquette. Bon, on va s'arrêter là avant de valider et d'engager le nouveau euh, chapitre, le nouvel épisode. Merci à vous, en tout cas, et à très bientôt pour de nouvelles aventures sur The Council. Salut